Hey guys, welcome back. I am Nat from Nat's Numbers, also known as the Numerology Chick over on Instagram. So you can see that I am back this week to talk about all of you joyful, hilarious three life paths. So in this video, I'm going to give you the lowdown on what being a life path number means in numerology, what it means about your purpose, what it means about the challenges that you must face and the dragons that you must slay on your journey. And at the end of the video, I'm going to go over my top tips to make sure that you are happy and successful as a three life path. So if you guys are enjoying these Friday morning uploads and you want more of this content, please share the love, like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. It helps out so much. Thank you. So I always preface each one of my life path videos with this quick little bit, and that's that your life path number in numerology isn't who you are. It's more of who you're you're asked to become. It's talking more about your purpose and your mission in this lifetime. So if you are a three life path, you are asked to become the joyful, self-expressive creative. Now, before you freak out, <laughs> When I first started my numerology practice, whenever I would get a three life path, you guys would always be like, no, you must have done the number wrong. Okay. Before you freak out, I want you to remember that none of us are born this way. Okay. Our life path number isn't something that's at first natural. What happens is the universe, our creator, will put us into situations in our lives to train us in embracing and becoming proficient in this mission. So for three life paths, you'll be placed in environments in your life where there's this deficiency of joy, where your voice and your childlike joy is diminished, where you're told to stay quiet, to not speak up, to stay small, or you feel that you have to constantly dim your light. Here's the thing. The reason that you've experienced this thematic, the thematic of your imaginative childlike spirit sort of being devalued or repressed is because it is so incredibly powerful. Okay. You have run into people in your life who could feel the potency of this mission, but we're just triggered and threatened by it. <laughs> okay. You are here to embrace and use this powerful gift of self-expression to uplift and to inspire. And if you do this, you will bring a sparkle back to your world and the world. So how do you make sure that you embrace this mission? Here are my top tips on how to be successful as the creative or the artist. Number one, it's so important to make sure that you own your dreamy, imaginative spirit, okay? Your imagination is where your divine, meant-to-be ideas come from. So read those fiction books, journal, allow yourself to play pretend, to engage in things that feel playful. This is an essential element in your purpose and in receiving clarity on your journey. My second tip is to find a unique to you outlet for your self-expression. You have a wealth of emotion inside that beautiful body of yours. And if you do not find an outlet to express that emotion, to create, to use your imagination, you're gonna feel very, very toxic and repressed. So whether that's art, writing, teaching, performing, dancing, you need to find an art form where you get to use your voice or your self-expression. Tip number three, you got to know that investing time and energy in joy, in playfulness is essential to your success. Okay, this is where a lot of three life paths go wrong. It's not about overworking. It's not about um, dimming that imaginative spirit. You have to invest in your joy and the things that make you feel like you're a kid again to really, really be able to step onto this path. And my last tip is to speak up, to put yourself or your creative work out there into the world on a regular basis, even if you're scared, 
even if you're scared of criticism or judgment. So if you embrace this mission and, and do these tips that I just mentioned, you will step into this powerful purpose of being a joyful, self-expressive creative, and you will uplift, entertain, and bring light back into the world. You'll give the voiceless a voice. You'll color this world with your imagination. The world right now is deficient in this incredible mission that you have, in the humor and the happiness and the sparkle and the eternal youthfulness that you possess. Please, please share it. So a couple of things to keep in mind. Remember that your life path number isn't the only influence in your charts. So the other numbers in your core chart describe your greatest gifts, your deepest desires and needs, and your attraction factor. So if you haven't already found out what those other numbers are, in the description box there's always a link to get a free numerology report over on numerologist.com or there's a link to book a one-on-one -on -one session with me or a long-term program if you want to dive deep into transformational work and activate all of the numbers in your core chart. If you are a three life path, what resonated the most? What's it like to be given this incredible mission? Comment below and let me know. I appreciate you guys so much and I cannot wait to upload the next video next Friday morning.